Peter Drucker is an old uh, guru when it comes to management and leadership, and he said in the preface to an, a, a, a book on Christian leadership, he, uh, he was a strong, strong Christian. He said, as, as, as historians look back in the long term to this period of time that we're in, he thinks that the thing they're going to talk about is not so much the rise of technology, nor the rise of e-commerce or the, the internet, but what he calls the profound change in the human condition, where for the first time in history, massive amounts of people have choices. The culture is changing, our reality is changing. So many of our churches have worked out the, the ways they operate, the ways they do their mission, the way they do with their worship, in, in a time which was past, and in those times, it, it, it evolved because it was relevant. It evolved because it was effective. It evolved because it was important to speak into those times. The times have changed. Everybody knows that times are changing. So the culture, therefore, calls us to an expression of the gospel which is fresh and which is new and which is speaking into the realities of what people now experience and understand uh, to be uh, different than what has been in the past. Uh, the culture is probably one of the most important things. Uh, Drucker also said that uh, culture will eat vision for breakfast. And I think one of the most important things in Mesa is that we have a new fallback position we have a new one where we go, if, if, if everything is chaos and we've got no idea what's going to happen in all of this, so what do we do? It's the new fallback position. And I think the, the culture which is coming out of Mesa, uh, which, is, which is not different, it's paralleling a whole lot of other journeys and a whole lot of other thinking that people are going through, I think it's characterized by a number of things. And I think the culture now says we've got to be aware of the poor. Uh, we've got to stand with them, as Jesus did. Uh, we've got to not just focus on the poor, but we've got to focus on everybody with a focus on the poor. And so it's inclusive, and people go, oh, so do we Do we miss out the middle class in this new culture? Do we miss out those who are rich in this, middle, uh, in this new culture? No, no, the exact opposite. Uh, they all have an, an uh, incredible part uh, to play in serving the poor, and in serving the poor, they find the meaning and purpose that God created them for. The Old Testament is very, very clear that God raises up uh, the rich to be able to support and to care for the poor, and it's time in a new culture for, to find the new economy of this culture, to find the, the new imaginations that says uh, we are caring for everybody, we're inclusive. It, it's not about us and them, it's about us together trying to find out what God is doing and join in with what we see. So therefore, in this culture, we've got to develop spiritual sight and spiritual hearing that we see and hear and perceive and discern what God is doing in the community, in the world, and join in with God. God actually knows more than what we do. It's an incredibly bold thing to actually say. It's even more bold to work in the reality of that. It's not about getting the single answers. It's about actually finding in this culture what are that the myriad of possibilities that are there that we will experiment with, that we'll take the risk like Abraham, uh, like the Exodus, uh, like in Jesus, like the early church, like all the ways that new uh, expressions of church and mission have, have had to go through in walking this way that's going to mean that, that it's not about we've got all the formula worked out, we've got all the techniques worked out but rather what's God saying through the Holy Spirit that reveals Jesus that brings us to the will of the Father. And I think that that's the culture shift that's there. It will include a whole number of ways that we think about being church. Now, instead of being um, uh, churches, which says here's our ecclesiology, here's how we be church. So therefore, this is the set of theologies that we have. So therefore, this is what our mission is going to be. I think the opposite is happening. We ask, so, so who is Jesus here? Where is Jesus at work through the Holy Spirit? And how is it that we are therefore shaping our mission to follow that, which gives us our best theology, which will create the new ecologies of this new culture, which will take us into this next phase of the future, and then it will happen all again. It's about continually changing, continually finding the fresh uh, breath of the Spirit. Uh, and it's almost like we are 
rafting a reality instead of just building structures and houses and techniques etc it, it is actually about finding a fluid reality that we raft and I think what keeps us afloat is the call of the mission uh, the scriptures that God gives us and how we interpret that it's about understanding where we are going to really know how it is we find that this culture that that is fluid and there'll be times we go with the currents of the cultures that are around us but there'll be times we'll go across that and the way we do that is we put up the sail and the ruah the spirit blows and sometimes will take us up the currents that are there this is the new culture i think this is the new call and it's fresh it is exciting and it's incredibly scary which means it keeps us really close to god and how good is that